You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. My name is Rob, and welcome to episode number 966. Glad that you are able to join us wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Thank you for taking a few minutes to uh, be a part of this. There's the light flashing, and we have an age-old question. What is the age-old question? The age-old question of uh, Mac or PC? Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting because if you guys have been listening for a while, you've probably heard me talk a lot about how switching over to Mac was actually kind of difficult. And if you're a DSP and you're getting into drone mapping, the chances are a Mac is not gonna cut the mustard for you. So what type of computer should you be buying? The answer may be both, but we will navigate that issue in today's question, which is brought to you by our friends. I'm going to give Kitty Hawk a little shout. I love using that app. Yeah, they're doing doing some good things. Convenient app ever for link access. So shout out to those guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and play the question. Hey guys, my name is Rob from Louisiana. Like the podcast, been watching, you know, YouTube channel videos. I got a question concerning computer. I was originally a a PC based guy, then I went to a Mac and I've been a Mac guy for a while. Um, I didn't know what do y'all find is better for working everything, your software programs and all that stuff. What is better to use a PC based laptop or a Mac? Thanks. Keep up the good work. All right. Thank you for the question. And boy, this is definitely one of those it depends questions, I would imagine, or answers, I should say, because there are just so many variables to the answer to this question. There are a lot of variables to the answer of this question because it depends. Are you doing photography? Are you doing videography? Are you doing just media? Or are you doing a little bit of photogrammetry as well? And I ask you, do you plan on doing photogrammetry for a while? Because if the answer is, oh, well, I'm getting my toes wet. You know, there is a, I recently read the rules to uh, parenting as a father. And one of those rules hmm. is you never take the stairs in the pool. Why is that? Because you always just jump right in. Oh, getting into the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh. never take the stairs. Okay. That's one of the rules of being a father. You never take the stairs. Have you ever seen a pool? guy take the stairs into a pool under the age of 60? <laughs> it's a solid question. I, uh, I, I, I can't imagine. Um, I hadn't thought about it. I'm tr- what I'm actually sitting here trying to think about is have I taken the stairs getting into the pool? But uh, I understand. All right, cool. So jump into the pool or dive, one of the two. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just about, you know, it's just about the stairs here, Rob. That, that's all I'm trying to get to. Okay. Anyway, my point is this. You cannot dip your toes in with mapping. This is something you either go all into or not at all. Don't be like me. Um, this is something that I, you know, essentially trusted other people to take on for Drone You, failed miserably. You have to be willing to go all in 100% if you're going to be doing mapping. Why do I say that? Well, if you're going to be jumping all in, the only machine that you're going to be doing mapping on is a PC. Pix4D doesn't even support Mac-based uh, versions of the beta software anymore. It's pretty much useless. In addition to that, it's also useless for a variety of reasons. If you're using Autodesk Recap, AutoCAD, any engineering software, you're going to need a PC. And there's a great company called Puget Sound, and they do some of the best research on computers for mapping. So pugetsystems.com forward slash recommended forward slash recommended dash systems dash four dash pix4d dash 207. 
And you can see all the different computers, all of the different NVIDIA GPU cards, the PIX4D 4.3 CPU comparison to really compare the Intel 9th Gen Core X Series and the AMD Threadripper computers against each other to see which really does the best. And frankly, it's actually really interesting to see which does the best. So which... That's is, speed? That's the CPU, not GPU. And the fastest computer for processing PIX4D is the AMD Ryzen 2700X 8-core that's 3.7 gigahertz or running at 4.3 gigahertz hmm. turbo. So we have the i7-7700K and we have a NVIDIA 1080 Ti GPU and it, it, it screams. So, um, I mean, it, it's awesome. Now, that being said, this also goes over GPU comparisons for what you may want to use. It also talks about the different comparisons depending on what step of the process you're in with a particular project. Now, that being said, if you're in media, now I know some guys use PC for um, Adobe Premiere Pro. In fact, our new editor, he does exactly that and seems to work well for him. Now, that being said, after learning Mac myself, which it did take probably a solid three weeks and a good friend to help me get through it, I will never go back to PC for anything media-based ever again. Hmm. The amount of time that it takes to just do simple things is just kind of too much for me. Okay. And the file system and structure of Apple is just way better. Um, I love the time machine function on Apple in case my computer ever gets jacked up. I just don't like the newer Apple computers. So this computer that you see on the show, I'm pointing it out, this is a 2015 MacBook Pro. I'm probably going to keep this for absolutely as long as possible. Why? Because I don't have to use dongles. Everyone who buys a new MacBook Pro is familiar with the dongle problem. I've got this beautiful SD card port, which is really great for transferring footage, which I found out they have on the MacBook Airs now, by the way. Oh, really? So they, they brought them back, but only for the MacBook Airs a.k.a. the people who don't even have enough room on their computer to transfer the files onto the computer. <laughs> I mean, literally, I have, more, I have more storage on my iPhone 10 than the new uh, MacBook Airs. Than the max you can get on the MacBook Air? I, I think the max might be 512. Hold on, let me, uh, let me see really quick. But, I mean, it's getting ridiculous. But not only that, I can also take this computer apart and I can add my own DDR4 RAM so I can get a little bit faster RAM. And a lot of these new uh, MacBook Pros, that the RAM is soldered onto the board. So, unfortunately. It looks like I was wrong about the MacBook Air having that SD card thing. It might be the MacBook. Let's see, MacBook. I saw one of them hmm. at the store and it, they brought it back. Or maybe I was looking at the 2015 refurb. I'm not sure. Probably wouldn't have that in the store, I wouldn't think. We were just at, at the store. Because I'm still trying to talk myself out of buying a new iWatch. Nope. Oh. I'm, this, these are all dongles. All of these. May, I misspoke. I guess none of the MacBooks have the SD hmm. card port. That's, that's unfortunate. But MacBook Air, to answer your question, Rob, maximum size of hard drive. 256. 256. 256. Really? So That's I have it. more storage. I have the same amount of storage as the highest end MacBook Air as I do on my iPhone 10. Wow. Yeah. So Did not know that. When it comes to media, media organization, media storage, archiving, um, your your footage, I, I'm sorry, but like this, these Macs just fly. And that's having worked in both systems. Yeah. You've worked in both. Yeah. You haven't worked in Windows recently. Well, that's not in a true. PC system. I teach off of Windows. True, but I'm talking about from a media standpoint. Yeah, no. Even even with that powerhouse, I will not touch media on that computer. <laughs> there you so, go. Also, a lot of people say, oh, uh, you know, I'm a DSP. I want to do mapping, so I want a Windows machine, and I'm going to get a MacBook c computer for all my media and in-the-field stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Just don't forget to get an IPS display. A lot of people forget that. They don't even know what I'm talking about. They're like, IPS display, what does that even mean? Essentially, it means that you can calibrate the screen so that whatever you're looking at on your screen will be uh, synonymous or uniform on other screens as well. And with what people will see on the televisions and so forth, right? Correct. Unless they have one of their um, color gamuts turned on. Sure. 
which you'd be surprised how many TVs come with settings turned on. Hmm. Like Tom Cruise did a huge thing on like turning off the sports feature. They essentially like merge frames together and footage doesn't doesn't look right. So he had this huge thing where he's like, everyone needs to turn off this feature on their TV. Public service announcement. Yeah. He got really mad about it. It was all about Mission That's, Impossible, too. Uh, had a way to fight the fight, Tom. Yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Funny. I I feel like I'm just waffling. The answer is if you're doing media, you need a MacBook. If in The Mac Mini, by the way, if you're not going anywhere with a computer, is a really powerful, affordable option. If you're doing mapping at all, you need a Windows machine. That Windows machine should really only be used for mapping if you're going to be doing mapping consistently. Even I have learned that as I have filled up our machine three times now. <laughs> That's right. And the iMac Pro, the... Um seeing here with a big budget that's the way to go would you agree with that for media 100 percent. yeah 100 percent. yes look what's right next to you is yes i understand <laughs> <laughs> although if you want to go budget uh, you can get an imac 27 inch and you can uh, put the ram in yourself never buy a fusion drive from apple you remember what happened with our fusion drive it blew up when it got too much stuff on it that's exactly right it can yeah. only be re rewritten so many times mm -hmm. so if you do buy a mac machine uh, make sure to get an SSD. So important. It's worth the extra money. Yeah, my friends tried telling me and I didn't listen. I'm sorry, Jason, but I should have listened. Now our iMac has a massive SSD in it. Which very excited about. Yeah, very cool. Well, on that bombshell, that's going to do it for this long, drawn-out show that could have been really like three minutes long. But we appreciate you listening. If you have a we question, do. go to askdroneu.com. Yes, indeed. Please, and leave us a review. And please subscribe. That helps out the show a lot and can help reach more people, which can help the industry. Thanks for watching. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You.